Welcome to Serving with Success, Professional Standards for School Nutrition Program Personnel. The objectives of this module are to understand the key requirements of the final rule for professional standards for nutritional program personnel, understand the flexibilities allowed within the professional standards, and to learn about available resources. The USDA has established minimum professional standards requirements for school nutrition professionals who manage and operate the National School Lunch Program and School Breakfast Program. These standards are a key provision of the Healthy, Hunger-Free Kids Act of 2010, and they institute minimum education standards for new state and local school nutrition directors, annual training standards for all school nutrition professionals, and ensure school nutrition personnel have the knowledge, training, and tools they need in order to plan, prepare, and purchase the healthy products necessary, and to create nutritious and enjoyable school meals. The final rule for professional standards for nutritional program personnel creates minimum hiring standards for new school food authority directors based on a school district's size. It establishes minimum hiring standards for new state directors of school nutrition programs and state directors of distributing agencies. It also requires minimum annual training for all new and current school nutrition professionals. Well, there's a few important things about the final rule. Um, one, everyone who's in food service has to have a certain amount of hours of education. Um, that depends on what your position is throughout the school. And secondly, um, you, unless you have some kind of an experience within a food service program, um, there's going to be some kind of an educational qualification before you're able to get a job at, in any kind of school food service position. The USDA provides a comprehensive professional standards website that includes a database of training options. School nutrition staff can search for training that meets their learning needs in one easy-to-use location at the website shown. Professional standards are necessary because training requirements build skills. School nutrition programs are complex and ongoing training is necessary to keep up. Professional standards enhance the image of school nutrition employees, and training of food handlers in food safety is crucial to the health of students. School nutrition program directors are responsible for the operation of school nutrition programs for all schools under the Local Educational Agency, or LEA, New directors, those hired on or after July 1, 2015, are subject to new education requirements. Existing directors will be grandfathered in their current positions as well as in the student enrollment category where they currently are working. State agencies may require that new acting LEA directors who are expected to serve for 30 days or more meet the new hiring standards. The hiring standards for new LEA directors are based upon three categories of student enrollment in the LEA. 2,499 or fewer students, 2,500 to 9,999 students, 10,000 or more students. So some of the standards that are described are going to be previous experience, um, various degrees, some just require a general bachelor's degree, Others may require a bachelor's degree in a nutrition-related field. Minimum educational requirements for new school nutrition program directors with a student enrollment of 2,499 or fewer. Bachelor's degree or equivalent educational experience with academic major in the specific areas shown. Associate's degree or equivalent educational experience with academic major in specific areas and at least one year of relevant school nutrition programs experience. Bachelor's degree in any academic major and state-recognized certificate for school nutrition directors. 
high school diploma or GED, and at least three years of relevant school nutrition programs experience. In LEAs with fewer than 500 students, the state agency may approve a candidate that meets the educational standards but has less than three years experience. Minimum educational requirements for new school nutrition program directors with a student enrollment of 2,500 to 9,999. Bachelor's degree or equivalent educational experience with academic major in the specific areas shown. Associate's degree or equivalent educational experience with academic major in specific areas and at least two years of relevant school nutrition programs experience. Bachelor's degree in any academic major and state recognized certificate for school nutrition directors. Bachelor's degree in any academic major and at least two years of relevant school nutrition programs experience. Minimum educational requirements for new school nutrition program directors with a student enrollment of 10,000 or more. Bachelor's degree or equivalent educational experience with academic major in the specific areas shown. Bachelor's degree in any academic major and state recognized certificate for school nutrition directors. Bachelor's degree in any academic major and at least five years of relevant school nutrition programs experience. The minimum training standards prior to hiring a new school nutrition program director are at least eight hours of food safety training is required, completed either not more than five years prior to their start date as program directors or completed within 30 days of the employee's start date. The state agency has the discretion to require current LEA directors to obtain food safety certification every five years. There are annual training standards for all LEA school nutrition personnel. The final rule identifies specific training topics. The training topics that apply to an individual are based on that person's particular job. Training of school nutrition personnel is an allowable use of the nonprofit school food service account. Paying for costs incurred by an individual to meet hiring standards is not an allowable use of the nonprofit school food service account. Required training for all school nutritional employees of LEAs of all sizes. Training for all LEA school nutrition directors includes Beginning school year 2016-17, at least 12 hours of annual continuing education or training. This required continuing education or training is in addition to the food safety training required in the first year of employment. For all LEA school nutrition managers, beginning school year 2016-17, at least 10 hours of annual continuing education or training. For all other school nutrition staff, beginning school year 2016-17, at least 6 hours of annual continuing education or training. Part-time staff are Employees who work less than 20 hours per week. At least four hours of continuing education or training is required each year, regardless of the number of part-time hours worked. There are some flexibilities allowed in training standards, including Employees hired January 1 or later must complete half of the required training hours. At the state agency's discretion, training standards may be completed over a period of two school years. Some training hours must be completed in each school year. Documentation of the training must be available for administrative review. Training is allowed in a variety of formats and from different sources, such as in-house, state agencies, the Institute of Child Nutrition, the School Nutrition Association, and other sources. 
USDA training is available online at the website shown. A training certificate program is currently under development, and although it is not a certification or credentialing program, it does provide recognition for various levels of training. Oversight requires documentation of compliance with hiring and training standards for all school nutrition professionals who manage and operate the National School Lunch Program and School Breakfast Program. Documentation must be available for administrative review. State agency oversight requires states to review compliance with the professional standards during the administrative review. Technical assistance and corrective action will be used to address noncompliance. Key learning areas are established so that all training falls under one of these categories. Nutrition, Operations, Administration, Communications, and Marketing. Key areas and topics of nutrition are Menu Planning, Nutrition Education, General Nutrition. The nutrition objectives of menu planning are that employees should be able to plan menus that meet USDA nutrition requirements for reimbursable meals, including calculating meal components. Plan cycle menus that meet all rules and consider cost, equipment, foods available, storage, staffing, student tastes, and promotional events. Utilize local food sources, especially farm to school when possible. Write standardized recipes and use the food buying guide. Analyze menus for school meal pattern requirements. Plan meals to accommodate students requiring special diets, including food allergies. Plan for effective use of USDA foods. The objectives of nutrition education are that employees are able to utilize resources to plan, prepare, and integrate age-grade appropriate nutrition education activities with the school nutrition program using USDA team nutrition materials when possible and utilizing the cafeteria as a learning environment. Support school gardens as a means to nutrition education. The objectives of general nutrition training are for employees to understand and relate the dietary guidelines for Americans, USDA food guidance concepts such as my plate and other general nutrition principles to the goals of the school nutrition programs. Understand general nutrition concepts that relate to school meals such as whole grains, sodium, etc. The key areas and topics of operations are food production, serving food, cashier and point of service, purchasing and procurement, receiving and storage, food safety and hazard analysis, and critical control points. The operations objectives of food production training are that employees can understand and effectively prepare food using a standardized recipe, complete a food production record and other required paperwork, develop culinary skills necessary for school meal preparation, properly use and care for equipment, understand CN labeling, product formulation statements, and or appropriate crediting information for school meal pattern. The objectives of the serving food training are that employees identify and serve portions of food items according to USDA school meal pattern requirements and diet restrictions and encourage healthy food selections, including those for special diets. Use offer versus serve correctly. Serve food to maintain quality and appearance standards. Manage serving lines for clean and efficient operation. Operations objectives for cashier and point of service are that employees will efficiently operate and utilize a point of service system, ensuring correct application of reimbursable meal components, offer versus serve, and confidential student eligibility identification in a financially responsible manner. 
The operations objectives for purchasing are that employees should be able to develop product specifications to best meet menu requirements, solicit, receive, and evaluate bids for award in compliance with federal, state, and local regulations, purchase food, supplies, and equipment through vendors meeting school district specifications in compliance with federal, state, and local procurement regulations and the availability of USDA foods, generate food and supply orders, identify possible cooperative purchasing groups and geographic preference options, develop and monitor contracts with food service management company and or others, Operations objectives for receiving and storage are that employees will ensure proper inventory management including correct delivery and storage and identify that which has been placed on hold or recalled. The operations objectives for food safety and hazard analysis critical control points training are that employees will practice a HACCP-based program. Practice general food safety procedures. Practice federal, state, and local food safety regulations and guidance. Promote a culture of food safety behaviors in the school community. Key areas and key topics of administration include free and reduced price meal benefits, program management, financial management, human resources and staff training, Facilities and Equipment Planning The administration objectives of free and reduced price meal benefits are that employees will effectively certify, process, and verify free and reduced price meal eligibility benefits in accordance with federal and state regulations related to nutrition programs. Understand and practice direct certification procedures practiced by the state. The administration objectives of program management are that employees will effectively manage staff work and resources including scheduling, utilize standard operating procedures for routine operations, evaluate and utilize resources to promote a healthy school environment, develop and implement emergency and disaster plans as needed, manage water, energy, and waste and understand the process for administrative reviews. The administration objectives of financial management are that employees will implement a system of checks and balances to ensure accuracy and integrity of meal counting and claiming, funds collected, and record keeping. Establish and document appropriate accounting procedures for all revenues and expenses, ensuring that all procedures comply with federal, state, and local regulations and administrative review. Prepare a budget that appropriately reflects financial goals. Analyze financial statements and accounting procedures to make informed financial decisions and ensure alignment with budget and regulations. Recommend prices for meals and other food items to district authorities, maintaining compliance with federal, state, and local guidelines. Communicate financial goals, status, and other data to appropriate district and state authorities. The Human Resources and Staff Training Administration objectives are that employees will understand and apply human resource management practices, Implement current personnel policies and procedures. Develop employee training plans, including a plan for tracking training. Implement a system for retention, promotion, and recognition. Foster employee health, safety, and wellness. Administration objectives of facilities and equipment planning are that employees will evaluate and plan facilities and equipment to meet program goals. Maintain plans for purchasing and maintaining equipment. The administration objectives for communications and marketing are that employees will develop strategic plans and marketing plans that reflect program goals and enhance interaction with stakeholders. Promote the child nutrition program. 
Empower school nutrition staff to provide excellent customer service. Develop communications skills. Communicate within the school and to the community through multiple approaches to inform and educate stakeholders. Create an environment that engages students to select and consume healthy foods with minimum waste, including smarter lunchroom techniques. Training for professional standards is available in a variety of formats, such as in-person, web-based, or virtual training. Free or low-cost training is available from a variety of sources, including USDA and DESI FNS, the Institute for Child Nutrition, professional associations and organizations, in-house and school-based training, state agencies, and commercial vendors. Now that you have completed professional standards, complete the following brief quiz.